Welcome back everyone. It's gonna be a good day because today we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna look at a product category that you've most likely never heard of before, yet in some spaces seems to be incredibly popular. Why is it so popular, I hear you asking? Well, if the first answer in your head was because it works, then unfortunately for this product, you're actually very wrong. Every industry has their fair share of companies that try to make the next big thing. But most of the time when they try to innovate, they just tend to fall flat on their face. But not this product. Sometimes there are products that just bypass failure altogether. Sometimes there are products that just transcend human common sense. We don't know what it means. This is beyond our comprehension. We can't actually see why the product is so popular, even though it doesn't do anything. Most people watching this video would have some sort of product that promises crazy results that you could do in just a couple minutes a day, that's super convenient, that you've tried once, but now lives under your bed or somewhere in your closet. I remember a while ago, there was this ad on TV about this thing you put on your door to make it a gym. You got a door, you got a gym. In just 11 minutes a day, you'll get bigger, harder, and stronger, guaranteed. You see this fucking Jack body baby? I didn't get it from going to the gym 40 hours a week or going on a really strict diet or possibly even steroids. I got it from putting a fucking contraption on my door and pulling the cables that came out of it for 11 minutes a day. But the Tower 2000, that's old news. What if I told you that you don't even need a door anymore to go to the gym? All you need is a mouth. I stumbled across this video of Dr. Andrew Huberman talking about how one simple habit makes you more attractive. Of course, I clicked on it straight away. I mean, have you seen my last video? I need all the help I can get, okay? Now there's the Jawser sizer is really big in Hollywood. That and peptides are like taking over. Wait, Jawser sizer? It seems like he brushed over the peptides part a little bit too quickly, but I want to hear about the jaw exercises. So let's keep listening. Yeah, they, these like things where like- Bouncy <laughs> mouthpiece. Yeah, but you know, you, it's- Those work? Exercise, they definitely work. They change your facial structure where they just to do some jaw exercise sizes and focus on not mouth breathing. It completely changes the structure of the face in just two, three months. So it does seem like there is a big industry for these jaw exercises or even these procedures that make your jawline a lot more sharper. He goes into some detail about how chewing tough food from an early age and breathing from your nose can make your jawline nicer, lift your cheekbones and straighten your teeth all naturally. I had braces, but all your teeth should fit in your mouth and you should be able to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth with your mouth closed. I can't quite do it. Your tongue doesn't just rest on top of your mouth when your mouth's closed? Where the hell is your tongue sitting if it's not touching the top of your mouth when your mouth's closed? It doesn't touch the top of your mouth. Where does it sit? You got a room full of four other people. How did they not ask this question? Okay, I'm gonna get stuck with this. Let's let's move on. So looking further into it, it seems like the jaw sizer is the original one, or at least the most popular one. I could not believe my before and after picture. I literally rolled back the hands of time 10 years. Perfect, they got before and after pictures, so this should be interesting. Where's the after picture? No, no, I wanna see, no, I wanna see a before and after. I don't wanna see like a day apart. I wanna see like a before and after picture, like a couple months. What? This picture's kind of cheating. She's smiling, but still doesn't seem like there's any difference at all. For it having done next to nothing, this guy is actually pretty happy with the results. What's the difference? Where's the difference? This lady's jawline was better before she used the jaw sizer. This is what you're advertising? This is a before and after? All right, I can't trust these before and after pictures anymore. I actually just need to get one for myself. I need to do it for 30 days and see if there's any difference at all. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go do that. Okay, so there are a couple of these types of products with the jaw sizer coming in at the most expensive between $45 and $55 for one single one of them. Better check the reviews to see if that's actually worth it. Works great, had it for about half a year, then it ripped, but it worked well. Jawline is definitely a bit better. Look, it sounds like a great review at first until you reverse it. After six months of intense jaw exercising every single day, I can guarantee to you that my jawline is a little bit better. Damesh says, it works well and it really works. Okay, Damesh, well, my question to you is, does it work? What I started to notice was that it was creating my front teeth to become wobbly. I'm still young. No issues with the teeth. Due to the pressure of it constantly pushing the front teeth outwards, they started to become wobbly. Upon consulting a dentist, they advised to stop using straight away. Mate, it's pretty fucking good. It forces you to use your dentist extras cover that you pay for with your health insurance. Chew it, make your jaw stronger like any other muscle. Or don't, I don't care. It kind of sounds like you care, dude. Oh no, what am I gonna do? If I don't get the jaw sizer, then Tony Lopez from the United States won't care about me. Quick. Buy it. This next review is 100% paid for. I know they spelt jaws a size wrong. Four times. But that's just to trick you. That's so it makes you think that it's not paid for, but it's paid for, I think. I'm pretty sure it's paid for. Let's go through it. I've always been a bit skeptical about products that promise significant changes to specific aspects of our physical appearance. Really? Like what? Clothing, shoes, 
tattoos, makeup, sunglasses, fake tan, the sun, gym equipment, hair straighteners, hair curlers, hair dye, scissors, nail clippers, injectables, surgery, penis pumps, Photoshop. Really? You skeptical about things that change the physical appearance? Really? You a little bit skeptical, are we? Hmm. Okay, let's continue. However, after giving the Jaws Sizer a shot, I'm genuinely stunned by the results. First off, the Jaws Sizer is a game changer. It's a game changer. It's gonna change the game. It's gonna go from J to A, then W, then R, then Z, then... Anyway, not only does it provide a unique workout, but it's also oddly satisfying. Shoving a ball into your mouth for 30 minutes a day does sound pretty unique, and kinky. But see, unique could be a bad thing. So they qualify by also saying that it's oddly satisfying. They're really trying to appeal to the whole ASMR community, the subway surfer community, or even the ball gagging community, which to be fair, all of those things would probably be pretty satisfying to do. But kind of weird to watch someone else do it. Unless you're participating in some sort of way, of course. It's like a gym session, but for your face. The material feels durable and it's easy to clean, which is a big plus for me. That's a big plus for you. It's a piece of silicon. You just run it under some hot water. It's not a fucking wine stain. It's not Buckingham Palace, dude. The jaws sizer is really cool. My jaw is sharper than a knife. Everywhere I go, I'm picking up chicks. I even got a promotion from work. It has completely changed my life. However, I can't recommend it because it's pretty difficult to clean. And that's a big no-no for me. It feels like I've unlocked a latent potential inside of me, like a king ready to claim his throne. It's a piece of rubber that you put into your mouth and you chew a couple times a day. It's not that fucking serious, dude. Okay, come on, man. While individual results may vary, okay, person who was definitely not paid to write this. Here's to looking and feeling like royalty. Royalty have historically been on the larger side. And although the incestuous bloodlines resulted in distinctive pronounced jaws, I'm willing to bet that this chat here probably doesn't want to be either of those two things. Just a little guess that I've got going on. Just a little feeling that I've got going on in my bones. Okay, what other products do we have here? Oh yeah, this one really looks good. This one is the one that I want for sure. A different model and this could have been a really racist picture. Let's move on. Premium silicon, reduced chewing, reduced chewing. Isn't that the point of this thing? It's to increase chewing? Activates 57 plus muscles. So what, 58? The muscle man in this picture is using a completely different product to the one that's right above it. Exercise anytime, anywhere. You can do it during fitness. Fitness? Fitness ball in your mouth. <laughs> Losers. You can do it during work. Great conversation starter for the water cooler, isn't it? That would definitely 100% not have an adverse effect on your relationships at work. Trust me. You can do it during running. Okay, so you can do it during fitness. Or you could do it anytime. Oh, so just delete the other three and just say anytime. You could just do it anytime. No, you could do it while you're standing. You could do it while you're sitting. You, you could do it while you're horizontal. You know, actually, you know, when, when you, you really think about it, you know, you, you just pop it in your mouth and you start chewing and, and, and you're doing it. Cause you, you know, you do it, you know, anytime. Oh, fuck you fucking, I had the fucking fan on. Shit. They really should just say the most accurate place that you would and honestly should be using this product, which is in the privacy of your own home, with no one around, with no windows, with no possibility of anyone ever walking in and catching you. That's where you should be using this product. All right, so instead of buying one jaws of sizer for $55, I'm gonna buy three cheaper alternatives that amount to about the same cost. Nah, bro, you gotta get the jaws of sizer. It's the original. It's the only one that's gonna work, cuz. I even heard that on Joe Rogan's and whatever Joe Rogan says is the truth. Okay, bro, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between this piece of rubber and this piece of rubber? About 35 fucking dollars, okay? Jaw ex oh, jaw exercise. Oh, jaw exercise is here. Fuck. Two exercises are here. We're gonna open this like a psychopath. So I expect people who order this to open it. All right, first one is the ball gag. I got two for the price of one, which is pretty cool. I got red and black. Comes in probably the world's cheapest plastic. Anything that comes in bags like this, you know is just bullshit quality. What the fuck? This one, I'm pretty sure you have to boil and then mold it to your teeth. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really healthy for the front of your teeth, isn't it? You can't be serious, man. This cannot be the product that you're trying to sell people. Trying to sell overly masculine men. You're trying to sell them a ball gag. 
All right. Hey, since you're already gonna look like a clown using it, why not just use it as a clown nose as well? I don't feel like putting these things into my mouth for various reasons. One, it's making me itchy and giving me some sort of contact rash. And two, I really enjoy my front teeth. Next one. Fuck yeah. Anything that comes in this bag costs less than 50 cents to make. Oh yeah, I definitely trust putting these things into my mouth. The benefit of these ones though, is that you put them on your back teeth, using teeth that are less likely to wobble and fall out like the child that used them. Next one. This is one I think I'm gonna use because it looks like the one that is the least likely to fuck my teeth up, even though it comes in, again, the world's cheapest plastic. Our trainer is designed to target as many of the possible 57, 57 muscles? I thought you said 57 plus. What's this shit? Be sure to follow step three, smiling expression, otherwise suction will form in the cheek area. Okay. For additional focus on the neck chin area, tilt your head back so your chin is in the air, then continue from step four onwards. There's only four steps. So, jaw tone. Oh. Let's wash. Oh. Ah. There's no way I'm gonna use this one when this thing is going to destroy my teeth if I use it. I could do that. Uh, Can't use that on your front teeth. There's no way. Fuck off. Let's try the gray ones. So these ones you put on your back teeth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I put it on one side and I hold it in place. I go to put the other one in and the other one falls out because I got to lift my teeth up. Well, you should come a little bit. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. There's my jaw stuck here. Yeah. I've got it in the wrong way. I tried it sideways. That feels nowhere near as hard. Actually, I think I remember. Get the shit out of my mouth. I think I remember hearing you start with it on the side and then if you want it to get hard, you, you make it upwards. All right, let's see if I can get these in Basil's water bottle. No. Nope. Oh, that was close. Oh, I'm gonna give up. Let's go to the next one. Oh, that's it, baby. Oh, oh, <laughs> Yeah, you gotta do all that. <laughs> You <laughs> follow the instructions. I do feel it here and here. And I guess I feel it in my jaw as well. So this one is definitely the one that I'm gonna use for the next 30 days. So this one seems like I'm not gonna waste. Well, okay, I'm wasting my time. But it feels like I'm wasting my time the least on this one and that it's gonna cause the least amount of damage. So I'm gonna keep doing this one. There's no power in the house. A storm just rolled through Melbourne and cut off power to about a quarter of all Victorians. And the storm was massive. Probably the biggest we've had in a long time. And you know what? I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared one bit. The reason is because I feel confident. I feel manly. I feel like my testosterone is just punching someone in the fucking face right now. And the reason is because I've been using the jaw toner for 14 days. But you know what? I need to level up yet again. I've gone from a Sigma to an alpha. And I need to go from an alpha to whatever comes before the Greek alphabet starts. That's how much I need to level up. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by buying more plastic. So I bought the intermediate level and the advanced level for the same price that I originally paid for just the intermediate level. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care about money. I'm a man. Money means nothing to me, except that it means everything. I just don't say it. So you know what? I don't need the white one anymore. I don't need the other white one anymore that I could have used 14 days ago and saved money on. I just need the black one. And we all know that everything that comes in black is the more pro version of the original product. Cause once you go black, you never go back. That's what my ex-girlfriend said to me when she broke up with me. Cause obviously the guy that she was sleeping with was using the black one. Oh man, my joy is so fucking strong, man. Oh, woo! I'm gonna go from this to this. Cillian Murphy or Killian Murphy, whatever his name is. I don't care because I'm a man. Let's see what the next 16 days brings us. People. It's been 30 days since I've been using the jaw exerciser and my testosterone is the highest that it's ever been. I now have a deeper voice. I'm far more aggressive and just want to punch everyone who fucking looks at me the wrong way. I now have 13 criminal charges against me because of that. But my jawline is so sharp that it can cut through a watermelon. No, it's actually been over two months since I've been using this jaw exerciser every day because it takes me a little while to make these videos. And hopefully to the surprise of nobody, there are no visible changes to my facial structure. So then the question is, do these jaw exercises actually work? And the answer to that is... Kinda. <laughs> I know, pretty surprising, but 
Let's go through it. Every time I went into the shower, I would use this exerciser, which if I were to recommend this product would be the way that I would say to do it, unless you have bad hygiene. Then at that point, then you probably aren't doing it as much as you should be. It hasn't changed the way that I look. And honestly, I didn't expect it to. If you're over 20 to 25, then these joy exercises are gonna do next to nothing because at that point, it's too late to change your facial structure. But if you're under 20 to 25, then these things might actually work, but I wouldn't recommend them. You know how food breaks when you chew it and that's the reason that your teeth don't wobble and fall out? Yeah, this is not the same thing. These jaw exercises will retain their shape when you chew on them. Unless you have a very powerful jaw, then at that point, I don't think you actually need this stuff and you should probably be out there setting a world record or something. But theoretically, regardless of age, these things might make these jaw muscles larger, which will make your jaw wider, which maybe isn't what you're intending to do. The crazy thing is that people have taken Andrew's words about jaw exercises and ran with that instead of focusing on the other extremely important factor that he talked about in the video, which was nasal breathing. If you want your jawline to be sharp, if you want to lose your double chin, there are things that you can control, which are diet and exercise, nasal breathing if you're young enough, and if you're older, there are surgical procedures, if you want to go down that route. But before you go out and do any of that, I want to leave you with something. <laughs> For better or for worse, your parents, they didn't have joy exercises or tower 200s or weird oversized lips from timu.com. They didn't have any of that. The one thing that I can guarantee that they did have is sex at least one time, most likely more than once, maybe even with multiple people, maybe even with multiple people at one time. What I'm trying to say is that you'll be fine. Press the like button down below so YouTube can share this video to other people. Subscribe to my channel so you can see me do some more stupid experiments and probably say more dumb things. And most importantly, thank you for watching.